Welcome to New Realities. My name is Alan Steinfeld, and on this program today, we have a very special uh, panel that's going to talk about the process of transformation collectively and individually. So, to my right is Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's a chiropractor. He's been in the movie What the Bleep, which really catapulted him and his understanding about how to evolve the brain to another level and to, and he's written a book called Evolve Your Brain, The Science of Changing Your Mind. That's Dr. Joe Dispenza. Thanks, Joe, for being Pleasure here. Pleasure to be here, Alan. To my right is Marilyn Schlitz, and she's also written a book called Living Deeply, The Art and Science of Transformation in Everyday Life. Marilyn, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And to my left is a, a longtime guest of the show, Desiree, Dr. Desiree Hertog. She's an environmentalist. A, um, she's founder of the Academy for Future Science with her husband, Dr. Hertog. And she'll be talking about the process of transformation. Thanks. And to my left here is Dr. J.J. Hertog, the author of The Keys of Enoch, and a book called The End of Suffering with Russell Targ. And he's been involved in global planetary and beyond forms of, of transformation. Thanks. So, you know, let's just really let's get as real and as ground as we can because, you know, we've been all talking about transformation for 20, 30 years. Is it happening? Um, or are we deluding ourselves? Because <laughs> there's a whole world out there that has no idea what any of us are talking about. So, I mean, what do you see the future looking like if everyone was to evolve their brain. So let's give us a map, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, so we well, have so, to... <laughs> so uh, it's absolutely correct that experience is an el a, a fundamental element. And experience is when we actually modify our behavior. We use new information and we do something different. And when we do that, we have a new experience. Mm -hmm. That new experience breeds a new emotion or a new feeling. We can say, I remember this experience because I've done something differently. Mm -hmm. That essentially is teaching the body what the mind has learned. Right. The problem, I think, with, with our culture is that there's a lot of uh, delusion going on mm -hmm. and there's a lot of confusion going on about what the nature of reality really is presenting to us That's through good. media, through, um, through television, through internet. And, and the more we live in those difficult emotional states, the survival states, I call them, mm. of fear and anxiety and worry, there's always a gap between the way we appear and the way we really are. Mm -hmm. And we use the environment to remember people in cir circumstances and situations and events to try to reinforce ourselves as a separate person or, or as an individual. Mm -hmm. But we reach a certain point in our life, I think, where we begin to question, is this all there is? is right. Can I do better? Is this, I'm unhappy. And I don't want to go on living this way. I don't want to keep the facade up and keep all that energy going. That, that moment, I think, when people begin to look at themselves and self-reflect, uh, and they begin to eliminate some of those emotional states through certain technologies or, or through certain ways of meditation or contemplation or, or, or disciplines, that gap begins to close down and we develop more of a transparency so that how we appear is who we really are. Mm. And we become more concerned about the whole. Mm. Because I think once we get everything we want, the next thing we really ask is, how can I contribute? Right. How am I going to make a difference on the planet? Right. And I think that we have to begin to re remodel that understanding so people can say, look, when I do the work and I move to more altruistic states of mind, mm. uh, and I see that these emotional states are really undermining my greatness. Mm. Uh, and once we that person breaks through, the side effect of that transformation is that they want to give because that feeling of breakthrough is a feeling of joy and love and mm. self-expression. Mm. And then you want to share that feeling with somebody else. Mm. So what do you do? Mm. You become selfless, you give. Yeah, no, I think that's really good because I think the work of the Academy for Future Science was with Desiree and Dr. Hurt, uh, they're really about that. So talk, yeah. Right, so to reinforce what you were saying, I think first it does come with an awareness that you have to have. And I th one of the things that the Hopis talk about is people tend to hold on to the shoreline. They're not willing to go with the changes that are going on. And it says, let go of that shoreline, go with the flow. So not only is it awareness through knowledge, but also the still small voice within that hopefully has been educated in a certain higher consciousness realm, which I believe exists out there. And once you let go and you go with that flow, then hopefully you are directed into a higher oneness. Because I believe once we go with the flow, we are going into that cosmic consciousness level. Yeah, so what kind of maps of the future would do you see for the planet? Well, I 
see in all of this a recognition that uh, consciousness is the hidden variable. Yeah. And that as we bring it more to the fore in ourselves as a transformative tool, and as we see it in all of its various realms of expression, uh, a, a collective nature of humanity emerges that is with a certain sense of newness, not entrapped in the old uh, scripting of mm -hmm. uh, having to think a certain way, uh, having to have a belief system mm -hmm. that curtails rather than opens to mm -hmm. the greater experience, the greater joy of life. I think along with this also is the finding of compassion and love that mm -hmm. comes through the feminine side of what Joe would speak about, not only as the the third brain, but also the hemispheric balance between mm. the male and the female side of the mm. brain, the logical and the super logical. Uh. That feminine side that awakens is also one of the important tools that we need to bring out the greater love and compassion that mm. goes with new knowledge. Otherwise, we're simply trapped in old uh, language systems mm. and various uh, categories. Right, you would agree. The feminine, I mean, of course, but I mean, your work and your study, you're, you're talking about that aspect. Uh, so talk about, in your, as you apply it in your book, Living Deeply, opening up to that feminine part. Well, I think what we need to be is whole. Yeah. And so it is that balance of the different elements of ourself. But I, I really couldn't agree more with the idea that consciousness becomes the most important sort of prime mover. Mm -hmm. And as we think about the, the crisis of our planet today and all the ways in which we can feel discomfort and, and, and the call for meaning that people are expressing in every domain of mm -hmm. society, you can think about what is it that leads to these kinds of problems we face as a civilization, mm -hmm. whether it's the environmental degradation or it's the starvation of people across the planet at you know historic levels or violence in inner cities. Where does that come from? Mm -hmm. And it comes from our consciousness and it comes from, frankly, a faulty worldview, a worldview mm -hmm. that hasn't been sustainable and that ultimately, certainly within the, the influence of the Western world, separates us mm -hmm. from each other, from ourselves, from the natural environment, and from that calling for our higher spiritual self. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is begin to shift our consciousness, shift our worldview, such that we have better relationship between our masculine and our feminine, mm -hmm. between the light and the dark, between the different ethnicities and cultures. We need to build a consciousness that is is big enough and mm -hmm. flexible enough that it can hold all of these kind of contradictory impulses. Right. I'm Alan Steinfeld for New Realities, and if you say thank you for watching. <laughs>